Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 11, JavaScript Closure, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the closure in JavaScript. Keep in mind, closure is one of the most important concepts in JavaScript and also to keep in mind, closure is not a feature, just a concept in JavaScript. So what do you mean by closure? Closure means that an inner function, it has always the capacity or access to the variables and parameters of its outer function even after the outer function has returned. So let me explain this concept of closure with this example. Here I am having an inner function present inside the outer function and this inner function will be having the permission to access the parameters and the variables of this outer function. This concept is called the closure concept. So let me show you a demo of this. It's very simple. So let me jump here. So let me create a function. Function this is outer function. And here let me create a variable. So let me take it with a proper meaning. Outer variable. And the value I attach to it is 100. Let me create another function and let me inner function. Okay, here I'll call the outer variable. So what I'll do is I'll call this inner function inside the outer function. So you can observe here I'm having two functions. One is the okay I'm having a outer function and within the outer function I'm having another function defined that is inner function and this inner function is having the permission to fetch the parameters and the variables of this outer function this concept is called the closure concept okay so now when I execute I'll get, when I call this outer function what, what happens is internally this inner function will get executed inner function as this definition or it's having the alert function and within the alert function I'm calling the parameter or the variable of this outer function so we'll get the output as unread so let me call that outer function to control s I'll go back to the folder where I saved this page now when I double click on that we will get the output as unread okay this is what the concept of closure is inner function inner function will be having the capacity to fetch the properties and the parameters of the outer function so let me jump back to slide and I have another example here let me show you this one also so what I need to do is I need to alter few things here okay before that let me explain this code snippet here you can observe we have a outer function and the inner function outer function is having the variable outer variable the value is 100 and in the inner function I'm calling that variable and this outer function is returning the inner function the, uh, I repeat this outer function is returning the inner function so you can observe here very clearly closure means that an inner function always has access to the variables and parameters of its outer function even after the outer function has returned here you can observe the outer function is having written still what happens is this outer function will point to the inner function itself so let me explain this very clearly um, return inner function this line okay it returns inner function from the outer function when you call the outer function I repeat this return inner function will return um, inner function okay from this outer function when we call this external function that is outer function okay a variable I repeat a variable inner func uh, reference the inner function only not the outer function here we have defined like outer function we are stored in this variable but still this inner func variable it points to the inner function only not the outer function so when we call this inner function it can still access the outer variable okay which is declared in the outside function the out outer function so this is called the closure okay now let me show you a demo of this it's very simple what I need to do is instead of doing like this I have to return inner function okay then what I need to do is I'll assign this this to inner func and I'll call this inner func as a 
in the wing is act like a method now also if this outer fu function contain the return okay then also it point to this uh, uh, when I call this outer function okay since this outer function is having the return keyword but now also this inner func will point to the inner function only and it can access this outer variable value so now also I'll get the output as okay unread this is what the closure concept is okay now let me repeat what is closure closure means that inner function is allowing the capacity to fetch the variables and parameters of its outer function even after the outer function has the return keyword okay this is what the closure concept is and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Lang Pro training you can also like our facebook page with things url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer websites we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day